So now we entering the most difficult aspect of ECG learning which is uh, cardiac arrhythmias. So I have named this uh, entire module as cardiac arrhythmias unraveled. So what do you mean by unravel? So if you unravel a mysterious unknown and complete subject. So the three words exactly fit in for arrhythmias. Arrhythmias is a mysterious subject, unknown subject and complicated subject. So what we are going to do in the next four lectures is that we are trying to make it known, understood and become less complicated and make it less complicated. That's what we are trying to do in this uh, four lectures of arrhythmias. So the four lectures will be to look at the basic arrhythmia of genesis and premature beast in the first lecture. Then we have a narrow QRS tachycardia, white QRS tachycardia, approach to bradyarrhythmia or approach to slow pulse. So these are the four lectures we are going to see in this arrhythmia. And all lectures as usual will be followed by an interactive session. So I just want to tell you that there is only one easiest thing about arrhythmia. Everything in arrhythmia is complicated, but there is only one easiest thing. That is the definition of arrhythmia. The definition of arrhythmia is any rhythm other than normal sinus rhythm is an arrhythmia. So such an easy thing, no? So an arrhythmia is any rhythm other than normal sinus rhythm is a arrhythmia. That's why it's called arrhythmia. So for that, it is very important to realize how to recognize a normal sinus rhythm in the ECG. So then only you can diagnose an arrhythmia. So normal sinus rhythm means I imply that the impulse to the entire electrical activity to the heart is produced by the sinus node and the sinus node is producing at the right frequency of this current and the current is traveling through the appropriate pathway with appropriate speed and reaching that place in appropriate time and that appropriate time is responding to this current correctly. So what we mean by sinus rhythm is sinus node is controlling the heart by its electrical impulses at the right frequency at the right uh, by traveling to the right pathway. So there are six criteria to diagnose sinus rhythm in our regular ECG. The first and first most important thing is P wave has to be upright in L1 and it has to be inverted in AVR. The first few lectures I told you AVR is no man's land because all depolarization should go away from AVR in a normal uh, ECG. So upright P wave in L1, inverted P wave in AVR the interval between two successive P waves should be constant throughout the ECG and the PR interval also should be constant throughout the ECG and RR interval, the interval between two successive R, wave, R waves also should be constant throughout the ECG and the rate is between 60 to 100 per minute. So to say sinus rhythm, we have to satisfy all these six criteria. Even one of this criteria is not fulfilled, then it becomes an arrhythmia. So any rhythm which does not satisfy even one of these criteria is an arrhythmia. Now look at the CCG to diagnose a normal sinus rhythm. First you have to look at the P wave in L1, look at the P wave in AVR, operate in L1, inverted in AVR. Then see what is the interval between two successive P waves. For example, it is five squares between two successive P waves. Throughout the ECG, the interval between two successive P waves should be 5 squares, which means constant PP interval. Then you measure the PR interval, let us say it is 0.18 seconds or uh, 0.18 seconds. Throughout the ECG, the PR interval should be 0.18 seconds, constant PR interval. Then we look at the RR interval, which is the distance between two successive R waves. So let us say if it is 5 squares. Throughout the ECG, the R, R interval should be 5 squares. Then of course, if we calculate the heart rate, the heart rate between 60 to 100 per minute. So that are the six criteria to diagnose a normal sinus rhythm, provided the ECG is recorded in the normal standardization and the normal speed. 
So this is how we make a normal sinusoidal. Any rhythm which is uh, not going to satisfy any one of this criteria I have mentioned is going to be arrhythmia. So first what we are going to see in arrhythmia is whenever in an ECG, the most important and common thing you need is an abnormal beat. A regular sinus beat is coming, suddenly you find an abnormal beat, a beat which is different in configuration when compared to the sinus beat. So how to approach that abnormal beat is the first 